I'm Louise Wright, Chief Executive at Backup. And Backup's a national organisation that transforms the lives of people affected by spinal cord injury. Thank you. Thanks so much for coming to do this with me, Louise. It's really, really good to have you on this on this conversation. So I've got five questions for you today. And I'm asking various chief execs these questions, some working in really small organisations, some in, in really big ones. And it just so I think it's quite unusual to hear from chief executives about their role, how they find their day to day and how they look after their staff. So I'm, I'm hoping that uh, people will enjoy listening to you as well. So my first question today is, what do you, would you say is the one most valuable thing that you do to inspire your staff to shine? Uh, that's a great question. And it's really hard to distill it down to one thing. Uh, but I would say that something that's been really pertinent this week has been celebrating successes. It's been uh, tricky times. We don't know about uh, the future of our um, organisation and service users. Uh, and we came together uh, as a team and you could tell that actually people were feeling a bit low, uh, less productive. Um, and we started to talk about the small successes at first. What was going well in our week? What were we thinking about for the weeks ahead? And it grew. It grew in momentum. And by the time we finished our uh, 45 minute uh, meeting, there was a different air. It was it felt palpably different. And um, just concentrating on the fact that we're still making a difference to people's lives, that we're still doing great things um, is one actually that's really meaningful right now. Mm. And so what happens to staff then? When you've had a conversation like that, what difference do you think it feel like it makes to, to, to what they then go and do? I think they feel uh, positive and confident in their skills. That they're making a difference. I think that's what anybody feel like it means something and that it's bigger than yourself, that you're making a positive contribution. And I think... Uh, when you sit down with staff, um, team members, and help people reflect on their successes, don't take them for granted. Um, you can see people's shoulders, uh, their chest puff out, and feel renewed. Go go ahead for the day with with uh, a bit of vigor. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So. What do you think your biggest challenge that is at the moment that's facing your people? And, and would you mind just telling us a little bit about that and, and what, how you're helping them to rise to that challenge? Yeah, I mean, it's a, a very timely conversation, isn't it? There's a lot of uncertainty in the world uh, at the moment, particularly in the UK. And that is affecting us on how we make long-term decisions. Some of our work um, requires us to think and plan a year ahead and people are finding that really hard um, the current political um, situation so one of the things that we're doing is helping break people's work down so starting to think uh, short term again and, and just think through the next month the next two months the next two months that's really helping people focus but also to remind people of of what we're here to do. And that hasn't changed despite the uncertainty that's around us. So it's coming back to our strategy, our vision, our mission, that that hasn't changed. Mm. And it's giving yeah. confidence that the work that we've done around our strategic aims is still valid. It doesn't matter what's going on around us. How we might uh, work and achieve our aims may change. Mm. But not in the short term, and also, yeah, it's just having confidence, really reminding ourselves that long term, what we're here to do is to transform people's lives. Uh, with spinal cord injury, that's still relevant and helpful, so it hasn't changed. Yeah, great, great response to really, really challenging times, def definitely. So, what about your this? question that really all chief executives struggle with you know how how do you Louise sort of keep your big vision 
going, keep the, the, the strategy thinking, the strategic thinking going at the same time as running a relatively small organisation and all the kind of day-to-day challenges that come along. Well, what's, your, what's your strategies there? Yeah, that's a good good question. I think um, for me, it's about speaking to other people. I have built a really good network of other chief executives. Mm-hmm. So already, um, for the last week, I picked up the phone. I've picked up the phone with other people and, and just trying to get a telebox of you. What is it um, that other chief executives are doing? Can I learn from them? something relevant for our organisation. Using our board keeps me out of the day, so talking to my trustees who are wonderful, and of course they're not bogged down with the detail, and they're asking me really good challenging questions um, that keeps me thinking thinking ahead. Um, But also me personally being out of the office, we have very flexible working um, conditions here at Backup, and I love working from home. I've got dogs, and uh, a good dog walk actually is a really good time for me to think through. Uh, sometimes I'm making calls on those walks or just thinking through issues. But change of scenery, being away from my desk, and using a good network are, are sort of three strategies that I use to to stay out of the detail. Yeah. And do you have an open door policy, Louise, when you're in work? Yeah. You do? Yeah, absolutely. And why do, what, yeah. what is, why do you feel that's so important? Um, why do I feel that's so important? I think, I guess it's the nature of backup. We're a very flat organisation. It's not about, um, we're all here for the same reason. Mm. And being able to call on anyone, as I do with the team, you know, I go out and chat with uh, those that are well placed to help me with a problem. And I hope anyone can knock on my door and chat through an issue as well. Mm. We're we're all here for the same reason. We do. We bring different skills and experiences, um, but no one's uh, more or less able to help. I guess. I guess sure. That's a very strong. I have. And what about your work-life balance? How do you have one? <laughs> and if you do, would you mind sharing with, with with us what you know little strategies you have? What kind of life balance hacks you have to keep that maintained? Because it's incredibly important, isn't it, that you don't completely burn out being being at the top of an organisation? Yeah, definitely. I think one of the things I've learned. I've been chief exec at Backup for nine years now and in the organization alone and it's definitely balance has changed it's improved over the year and I think there are two things that really helped it to set perspective you have those really big weeks where you're dead back to get to put in the hours is that I now know that that's not for everyone so I, I pretty much and I'm really happy to make space and time I find it really rewarding to work really hard so I like uh, uh, I quite like rising to a mantle of a, a really busy uh, time but I am acutely aware probably more than ever that I can't sustain that you know I have a busy home life uh, a juggling uh, another organization which I'm uh, chair of um, involved with my kids' school, so there are lots of calls on my time. And I think the other thing that really helps is a sense of uh, is my network. So I have incredibly supportive husband who's uh, really helpful, flexible. Um, I've got a great staff team. I've got a great board. I've got a great network of mums around. Uh, uh, kids school who are quite happy to give me a nudge and remind me of a cake sale um, every now and again which I'm very likely to forget um, so yeah and it's it's calling on those networks I feel really well supported and I'm I don't worry too much if I drop the odd ball I'm quite kind to myself and, and uh, 
pick myself up quite clean and, uh, and try and carry on. Great, thank you. And so the final question really is, tell us a little bit about what the very nicest thing about being the Chief Exec at Backup is. Oh, I think it's definitely the best job in the world. I'm incredibly lucky. Uh, it's a very privileged position uh, here at Backup. And uh, best thing is, uh, there are two best things. One is knowing that our work makes a difference and hearing people's feedback. Um, and they tell us, people with spinal cord injury tell us all the time the difference that we're making and two for me it's meeting our volunteers I think if I'm having a tough time I will definitely put in the effort to meet our volunteers who very, very often been service users mm -hmm. and then have used their experience to give back often over and beyond their uh, jobs and uh, daily commitments and the lengths they go to to uh, make a difference to other people affected by spinal cord injury is unbelievable and very humbling and I think it makes all that hard work very worthwhile it's mm. you know if they go the extra mile then we should too mm. Mm. thank you Louise thank you so much that was really really good to to get you to, to hear your answers to those questions so um, thanks for your time and see you soon. Brilliant, thank you.